All right, listen, y'all. I know some of y'all are looking at the title and saying, what the hell are you talking about, my guy? Yes, I am embarrassed by my people right now, and I'm not gonna hold back. I'm not gonna lie, man. So let's go ahead and check this out. Every grocery store looks like this. Everything it is either on the floor. Look at this. Can't even get no fucking food for my kids, G. Look at this. Came in the store to try to buy something because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal, and black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. Look at this. But we, we, we this, this is what we're fighting for. This is honoring George Floyd. People who already couldn't feed their kids, now they really can't feed their kids. Look at this. I am so devastated right now. I am so devastated right now, G. This is not okay. For us to have to live like this, we do stupid shit like this all the time, and we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood and fucked up your shit. I'm not a thief. I'm not coming in this store stealing nothing. And ain't nobody gonna turn me into no animal or make me feel like a thief. Y'all let the white folks send y'all off once again. Look at all this shit on the floor. Look at all this on the floor. Everything. Everything's on the floor. Tissue. We couldn't even find tissue less than two months ago, and now it's on the floor. Look at it. Meanwhile, we got plenty of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I'm not going to pick through this shit. <laughs> Oh, they took everything else but the fruits and vegetables. No wonder why so many black people are fat, bro. bro we are the race with the highest obesity rate. I wonder why, because we don't eat no damn fruit. Uh, man, listen, bro. It just really hurts me, man, to hear the pain in her voice while she's walking around in this Walmart thinking about where her next meal is going to come from for her children. A real citizen that wants to legit buy her groceries. Some black people will have the nerve to say, oh, we're still being oppressed we're victims to the system and then go on and do shit like this first of all if there is a system in place that's holding us back how the hell are we gonna fight against that system if we're doing this shit to ourselves bro i've never seen people this aggressive towards each other until i moved to america and see how black people are towards each other bro for all you guys that don't know i'm actually from jamaica born with just black people mainly black people in Jamaica. And when I moved up here, it's like, the black people here are definitely different. I'm not gonna lie. I've never been to an all black party and there hasn't been a fight or some kind of police pulled up. There always has to be some kind of aggression. Niggas start drinking Hennessy and getting mad and fighting each other. Why can't we just party? I'm just trying to have some fun. I pull up to this party, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's good? What's good? It's like, all my niggas, you know what I'm saying? All black people in one spot, but we can't even have fun without someone getting violent. We are way too busy fighting each other, bro, to do anything good for ourselves. And if there is a system, it's winning because it's psychological now. It's divide and conquer. We're fighting amongst ourselves, which means they won. And we're doing exactly what they want. We're destroying our own neighborhoods. You guys are so fucking dumb, bro. Y'all some dumb asses, man. Like, damn. Even when the whole George Floyd thing was happening and and the first thing y'all decide to do when that happened is to go loot and raid businesses, go, in, go, go, go in the Gucci store, steal Gucci. What the fuck is Gucci going to do for you? And even destroy local businesses, local black owned businesses that y'all standing up for, Black Lives Matter. How y'all gonna support Black Lives Matter and destroy a black owned business? And talk about, oh, we victims. It's the system. The system is holding us down. You fucking stupid ass. No wonder why the black community is the way it is because of you. You guys. You all, man. 
There's no hatred in my heart, man. I'm just passionate. Like I'm legit like looking at this objectively and seeing what's going on. We're destroying ourselves. We're destroying our community. So when you guys destroy all these Walmarts, you guys just give these businesses a reason not to put their establishments in our communities. And where the fuck are we gonna get food from now? Where are we gonna live? Because if this continues to happen, it will be the end of the black community. We need to get our shit together, man. We need to stop being victims. We're seen kicking, passing cars, crowding the streets, dancing on top of park. I'm about to make some people mad. And as I see it, the black community is the weakest link in the United States. And we need to step it up. Where are these children's parents? So yeah, the world sees black children out here acting like this, and then we as black people want to get mad when black children or black people are stereotyped as dangerous or people feel unsafe around us. If we don't want to be stereotyped in a negative light, let's not give people something to stereotype us about. Here is why I say the black community is the weakest link in the US. So we have the lowest household median income, okay? You're also pretty much the most obese race in the US as well. 75% of black adults are either overweight or obese in the US. 75%, three out of four people. Black men are about, let's say 6.5% of the population, and yet we commit about 50% of the murders in this country. Adjusted to our race percentage of the population, black people commit more crime than any other race. I'm running out of time, so part two coming soon. Just stop blaming the police, stop saying the police are shooting us and killing us off when black people are killing black people at an alarming rate, bro. We have no respect for one another. The black women don't respect the black men, and the black men don't respect the black women. The families are torn up to shit. We have no foundation, and then the kids are raised into this bullshit, and all they want to do is be aggressive, steal, and have no respect for adults. Because I've seen way too many videos of black students lashing out against their teachers and fighting their teachers and all this bullshit. We need to be the type of people that we can actually be proud of. Black and proud. Because this shit that's going on right now, I can't be proud of that. I'm just ashamed. I'm embarrassed. Y'all could have at least stole some fruit. Like, damn, man, y'all niggas fat as hell out here not eating fruit. So part two on why African Americans are the weakest link in the US. Part of it is our culture. So I'm not gonna be the only one to feel this way, but I'm gonna be one of the few people that are gonna say it. When I go to a restaurant, when I get served the worst, it is usually by a black server, waitress, or a person that works there. When I'm on the phone, the customer service, you know, come on, you know when you can tell it's a black lady you're talking to on the phone, right? And a lot of times when I'm on the phone, the worst customer service is coming from black women on the phone. A lot of waiters, waitresses do not want or do not prefer to serve black Americans. Why? We come in with the most demands. We want to spend the least amount of money and we tip the least. We will send stuff back. We'll try to get stuff for free. Our culture and the way we process and go about things has got to absolutely change. Okay, so I'm running out of time again. Let me know if you want a part three, but the reason I'm making these videos is because in order to fix a problem, you actually have to diagnose what the problem is before you can actually begin to fix it. So I'm diagnosing the problem. That is facts. I always try to prove the stereotypes wrong, guys. Like my mom works in the restaurant industry and she makes it clear to us that we should tip. She's black herself and she knows that when the black people come in, they're not gonna tip like that. So whenever I go to eat, I give them a great tip. If the service is great, I give a great tip, guys. Because we have to prove the stereotype wrong, man. We have to show these people that we aren't who they make us out to be. <sighs> and with that said, I'll see you on the next one, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be looking through all of them.